Hello friend, in this video we will discuss how to choose the proper gate location and the placement for our part. So this is the most critical decision in the injection molding because this small decision can make the big difference in the quality of our product. So in last video we had discussed what is meant by gate and the types of gate. So just I will go through quick revision. So gate is a small opening that connects the runner system to the mold cavity. So through the gate we are uh, injecting the molten plastic into the cavity where we are getting the final product after the cooling. Even gate is a small opening but its placement or the location can make the massive impact on the part quality, cycle time and overall success of your molding process. So why gate location is so important? Because improper gate location can cause the problem like a warpage, weld line, air traps or even the incomplete filling. Generally we call it as a short short defects. But with the right placement or the correct location you can avoid this type of issue and make the perfect part every time in each cycle you will get the defect free product if you choose the correct location now let's discuss the important key factor for the gate placement so first one is the uniform flow and the filling so we need the uniform flow of molten plastics in the cavity as much as possible because Uneven flow can lead to defects like air trapped or the incomplete filling. So generally we call it as a short short. So there is a shortage of material in the cavity. So this type of de defects may occur if the flow is uneven. Okay, if it, the flow is not uniform. So always place the gate near the thickest section of your part. So this will allow the plastic to flow smoothly from a thick area to the thin area and that will reduce the risk of short shot which is nothing but the incomplete filling or the shortage of material. Next key factor for the gate placement is to minimize the weld line. So weld line it is a general defects in the injection molding where two flow front meet at one region and forming the line so this line is actually unaccepted for the aesthetic product so we need to choose the gate location in such a way that this weld line will form at the non-critical area or an uh, aesthetical surface so we don't want this weld line on the aesthetical surface so based on that we need to choose the location of the gate Next key factor is to avoid the air trap. So there are two possible conditions where the air will trap in the cavity. So first one is the if our flow is uneven or the uh, non-uniform. So at that time air will trap in the cavity and uh, during the flow. So some air will trap in the cavity. So at that time also air trap will be there so to prevent these air traps we need to position the gate in such a way that the air can easily escape from the cavity so we need to uh, provide the vent in the mold and we need to uh, provide the vent at the farthest point from the gate or the greatest from uh, greatest point from the gate we need to provide the vent so that air can easily escape from the cavity so next is we need to place the gate on a hidden or on the non critical surfaces so nobody likes the visible gate marks especially on the aesthetic surface so we need to place the gate on the non visible or on the hidden surface for example uh, you can see the bottle cap we need to place the gate inside or on the bottom so that nobody can see it so next point is the balance mold filling. So for a multi cavity mold, you need to think about the balance. So gate should be placed symmetrically to ensure the uniform filling across all the cavity. So next point is the control warpage and shrinkage. 
so warpage happen when a different part of your mode cool at a different rate so that's why the gate placement is a very important for the cooling so place the gate where it will help to control the cooling process generally for symmetrical part the center gate will help to ensure the uniform uniform cooling and minimizing the warping next point is the ejection and material flow so ejection is a final step and make sure the gate won't interfere with the part ejection from the mold so you want the plastic to flow smoothly and with no sharp turn and no long path and it should be easily ejected next point is gate size and thickness so different part need the different gate size for a thin part you might need a larger gate to get the material to flow properly while the thicker part can be a smaller gate so place the gate near the thicker area so that plastic can pack and solidify properly without causing sink mark or voids next point is the multiple gate for the large part so for the large and the complex part we need the multiple gate to ensure the even material distribution and avoiding the long flow path so when we are using the multiple gate so we need to make sure that they are properly synchronized and not creating the weld line next one is a hot runner versus cold runner so consider whether you are using hot runner or the cold runner system so in the hot runner system material stay molten until it enters the mold cavity so here the gate placement is more flexible so and in the cold runner system so the gate runner uh, gate placement is actually a trickier and you need the trimming of the runner after the ejection so here it may be manual trimming or it may be automatic trimming of the runner with the gate so friend when we are choosing the gate location remember our aim is to uniform flow minimizing the weld line avoiding the air traps and place the gate on a non visible surfaces and consider how the part will cool how it will ejected and whether your runner system is a hot runner system or a cold runner system so each part is a different but by following this guideline you will have a much better chance of getting the perfect molded part every time okay so these are the general uh, tips for the gate placements if you like this video please like share and subscribe the channel so watch this plastic product design series from the start and uh, i hope you are enjoying this series so if you are new here subscribe the channel we will see in the next video so thank you for watching see you in the next video